I've been watching the political rallies and Trump has something that the other candidates doesn't. He has a track record that he can run on from when he had the job before. No other candidate in U.S. history has ever had such a resume, not even when they were running for re-election. If you ever noticed, any time that a president has ever ran for re-election, they're usually seeking a second term with a promise of what hasn't been fulfilled off of their first terms. However, we've all witnessed after Trump's removal from office how the only infractions that the Democrats can hold against him are things that doesn't even have to do with his presidency. The accusations that they are holding against Trump for the most are all things that happened outside of his presidency. They really can't talk about how great of an administration that the Biden administration is because it isn't. I'm going to say the quiet part out loud. The more this country continues on its downward spiral, the more popularity that Trump gains. I'm going to need more than just personal attacks against Trump and slanderous media campaigns when I see that the operation costs are in running in the double digits to run my business. I'm going to need something more than your personal hatred for Trump when I'm seeing 21 years of military progress in Afghanistan gets destroyed in a matter of a day. I'm going to need more than false racist accusations against Trump when the Biden administration promised black people pie in the sky just to turn around and flood their communities with illegal migrants. And for the love of God, miss me with all of that woke sleepwalking foolishness about where I'm supposed to align politically simply for my skin tone. Are we going to sit here and pretend that black liberals aren't very racially biased towards other black people? Are we going to pretend that we don't see the many of videos mainly by black female influencers trash talking straight melanated men in front of bigoted white feminists? Are we going to pretend that the leftist black sector of social media has adopted derogatory names for black men such as bullet bags and three trash bag having dusties? I'm going to throw my vote in for Trump for the third time. And this time around, hopefully it means we can have him being sworn in on election day 2025. Even though Candace Owens hijacked the talking point from the late and great David Carroll, she is still correct when she talks about the Democratic plantation. Black voters who blindly vote Democrat are political slaves. For From their hard work and their momentum, the only thing that they got in return for their votes is a pat on the head. The LGBTQ community with the Biden administration received further protections. Illegal migrants under the Biden administration received tangibles from the U.S. government. The Asian, the Asian community received a hate crime bill from the Biden administration. And black voters, the only thing they got was a holiday, a flag removed from a sporting event that they rarely attend, and a statue of a career criminal. Now, if you want to give me a statue of someone who was killed unjustly by our government, give me a statue of Malcolm X. Give me a statue, statue of Fred Hampton. Not a statue of a career criminal who had a criminal history of holding a firearm to a pregnant woman's stomach. And please stop putting these fossilized DNC sponsored race pimps such as Messi Jackson and Al Charlatan in front of TV cameras to dictate where melanated people are to politically align themselves. It's 2023. I have a platform, I have a YouTube channel, I have a blog. I have a freaking podcast and I have a TikTok page. I can voice my own opinion without being filtered by some sassy wokeivist that America is sick of. I'm Ricky Manor of the Melanated Rebel News Network. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know your thoughts. Trump 2024, save America.